All right, so this is the LT520 from Deepcool. It's a liquid uh, CPU cooler, as you can see. Look at all the sockets it supports. You can see that AM5 and AM4 are on there. See that 2066, 2011, and 1700 socket is also on there, which is what I'm gonna be using it on. Here it tells you all the dimension, the material, it's aluminum, aluminum, however you wanna say it. All right, so enough talking, and let's just open this thing up. Boxes, just plain box from the looks of it. Just has a uh, deep cool logo. All right, now hopefully I don't open this upside down. Hopefully it has an instruction manual so that I can ignore it. Alright, so this is some deep cool fans. Uh, what's the connection for these? Oh, here it is. I got a four pin connection from the looks of it. Pin connection. Let's open the block here. Alright, so let's see. Three pin connection. This is so you can control the RGB because you know without it you can't get all the FPS that you want. And the radiator. This is a pretty big block, actually. Leave this LED on here. Here. Is that thermal compound? It already comes with thermal compound play applied from the looks of it. That's nice. That way I don't have to hide how I apply my thermal compound. And uh, is that already a bend on it? Wow. It's already a bend on it. I didn't even touch that side yet. All metal around here. I'm gonna end up breaking this before I even put it on. Can't take this off. So this serves no purpose other than looking cool, I guess. And yeah, here's that connection for that. So Hopefully I'm not voiding the warranty by taking this off. It's magnetic. Now let's see. It came with this little box. Oh, okay, so here's the, the mount. This is Intel. There's this. There's a lot of parts here. Well, looks I'm actually, I'm gonna read the manual for once. Uh, where is the manual? Here it is. All right, it says, according to the manual, I'm not gonna be needing these because that is meant for an AMD socket, which I do not have. And the ones we are gonna be needing are these. These are the one meant for Intel, so. I'm not, I thought I was going to have to use all of these, but looks like I'm not. I'm just going to look for the ones that say uh, 1700 
and I'm supposed to what's it called extend these down a bit so that they actually fit the socket oh wait it actually just fits in well that was easy I'm supposed to grab the ones to say 1700 these are the ones that look like this Now we look at this and since it's like this, we're going to be uh, grabbing the brackets. All right, so we're supposed to attach these brackets onto here. And for that, we're going to be needing these uh, tiny screws that are kind of uh, this bag. Mm, wait, no, I think they might be these. Yep, these are it actually. So these are just a uh, Phillips head, by the way. Because this is magnetic, it actually sticks pretty well on here. The screw, I mean. Right, um, I believe that's how it's supposed to go. Place this back. There, just like new. Uh, let's see what else I have to do now. I believe we're gonna be using these that came in the same bag as the, the screws we just put in, which were F. Yeah, so these are G. Yeah, so these. This is what you're gonna be using. Ah, um, I completely forgot to take off this thing after I reattached it. I'm just gonna hopefully remember to cut that off. When I, before I upload the video, otherwise it's not gonna look good. According to this, what's it called? The, the, the fans are supposed to go on this side from you can see right here. Uh, you can see the two little little pump things that are right here. So that this side is where the fans are supposed to go. Uh, I think it would have been smarter to attach the fans before I attached it there, you know. Oh this thing is this thing is rubber. And the fans are kind of heavy. Of course you gotta have the deep cool branding right here. And we're gonna be using these long screws that came in here for fans. Let me see if I can turn this around so you can get a better view. Uh, as you can see from these screws, they actually they have a lot of threading. So you don't need to put them in too much. It's only a little bit. That's where the last one goes. For the second fan. See what else this little cable that came here you're supposed to grab this and uh, plug this up and plug this one uh, so they only need one four pin connection that's neat all the other stuff uh, I don't think I'm gonna be using oh wait these other screws that came in the bag with the long ones these are gonna be for mounting this on your case. I don't know what the other stuff though. The other stuff in case you want to change it to another socket. I have to get my case and finish this.
All right, so I removed the two fans I had at the front. Since this is where I'm gonna be placing the, the radiator, I can't put it up here because I don't have enough space. And I am pretty sure that I'm not doing, uh, that someone's gonna correct me saying that this is possibly the worst way you can put it. But right now, this is the only way that it'll fit on my case until I get a different case, I guess. Let me just install it like that. Now to connect everything else on the motherboard. This is how it looks like now that it's done. Uh, as you can see, I do have a big graphics card though, but the fan still spins just fine as you can see. It still spins just fine. It's like a millimeter or two like right off. I'm gonna organize these cables in a bit. They're a big graphics card here. But yeah, uh, and I'm gonna attach the other fans I had up here. But yeah, it looks good. I almost forgot to attach this back on. It goes on like this, I believe. There you go. So, you know, can't have the deep cool upside down, you know. Oh, uh, and in case if you're wondering why this is all dirty, uh, it has a sticker over it. Ah, I can't take it off. Oh well. Do that later. All right, let me get all the other fans. These are the temperatures uh, that you get while playing Forza 4. So you can see it's in the mid 50s. So I changed the direction that the fans were blowing uh, to blow away from the radiator and I managed to reduce the idle temperature from 34 to 31 degrees Celsius. In hopes of getting better CPU temperatures, I attempted to mount uh, the radiator on top of the case again and it still did not fit. So the last thing I did was move the fans to the opposite side of the radiator to see if I could get improved temperatures and I did get better results. Idle temperature dropped to 29 degrees. And the temperature while gaming also dropped by around 10 degrees as you can see by the temperature shown here. I still think I got pretty good results considering this is a 13th Gen i7 processor in here. Uh, of course, if you use an AMD processor or use an Intel Core i5, you're going to get better temperatures since they won't get as hot. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks a ton for watching. Any questions, please leave them down in the question, some, the comment section below.